we go again. Yet another journalist, uh, activist posing as a journalist, has picked up on the already debunked IGN story slandering Black Myth Wukong because it doesn't fit their narrative. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about how Rebecca Valentine, a journalist for IGN, made an article talking about how Black Myth Wukong was a questionable game because the company behind them, Game Science, had a lot of allegations of harassment and some odd choices when it came to recruiting practices. Now, let's remember, this company is in China, not the US, not westernized. It's a straight up Chinese company that IGN was slandering and it made us look a lot further into it as to why IGN specifically would be so aggressive against game science and it turns out that potentially slandering them because Black Myth Wukong's creator Game Science refused to sign on the dotted line to sign up Sweet Baby Inc. as their consultancy firm you know otherwise known as extortion that whole thing and since that IGN article ran and has been debunked it has been now sourced multiple times by other outlets like The Gamer and now The Guardian using them as their primary source to propagate the already disproven narratives. So these journalists knowingly are quoting a source that is wrong and using that as fact to try to attack a game company that did nothing wrong. And we're supposed to trust these people? Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down how Black Myth Wukong's creator, Game Science, is under attack yet again. Shout out to Grums on Twitter who brought this to my attention where he said, Game journalist, in quotation, Grape Dosmill for Guardian repeats the hoax IGN article slamming Black Myth Wukong for refusing to answer their questions on their baseless attacks. This is like falsely accusing someone of beating their wife and then demanding in every interview that they answer questions about beating their wife. Actually, really good example of that. That's exactly what's transpiring right now is they made a claim against Game Science and they're trying to disprove the negative and because Game Science is refusing to engage in a conversation, they keep saying, well, this is why they're wrong. We've asked them and they just keep saying we're not going to respond to this anymore. Gamers and Chinese prove that Game Science statements were mistranslated and misinterpreted and still IGN, The Guardian, and others persist. All these articles repeat the same proven unreliable reliable IGN hit piece article. Reporter, quote unquote, Tom Reagan, would rather talk about these false allegations from a single botched translation of an IGN source rather than gameplay. All the Wukong devs wanted was to talk about their game in this interview about the game. Wukong is set to release next month, next to Ubisoft's Star Wars Outlaws. Any bet on which game gamers would like better? I think it's pretty obvious, but still, I'm morbidly curious as to see how bad Star Wars Outlaws does potentially flop. It does have a big name attached to it, and I know it's Ubisoft, and they are far from loved when it comes to being in the gaming community these days, so I am fascinated to see what transpires, especially comparing it against a game that's been slandered like Black Myth Wukong. Now, Tom Regan on Twitter went on to say, I recently played the beautiful and satisfying Black Myth Wukong, a game with the potential to to be one of the year's best. Hey, that's really nice. I appreciate the honest take of playing the game and liking what you played. Okay, nothing too wrong here, but he keeps going. Yet, instead of leaving the demo elated, after a bizarre interview, I walked away disappointed with the people who made it. They invited you to play the game, and yet you wanted to slander them and accuse them of things that they refuse to answer because they feel like they've been attacked by these game journalists and because they just want to show you the game that they've made and you liked it, but obviously that's not what you're getting at here. You wanted to look for a reason to hate them. Oh, and would you look at that? Who can reply? Accounts Graves Dossmill follows or mention can reply. So he shut down replies on him posting this tweet about his article. How pathetic is that? I couldn't imagine shutting down replies on like a Smash JT article. I put it out there. I want the community feedback. I want to have the conversation. I want people to express their feelings on something. And if you disagree with it, 
great. Let's have a conversation. Let's move the game industry to a better place. That's kind of what it's all about. But no, these journos want their echo chambers. They want to push propaganda and they want to silence anyone that calls them out on it. And to prove that, let's dive a little bit deeper and look into this article that Tom wrote. In his article on The Guardian, Tom interviewed Game Science co-founders who introduced themselves as Ted via a translator saying, this is the first time that we have worked on a PC and console game, and we are also a new studio, so we would really like to thank how tolerant the players and the market is towards us. Their excitement encourages us. However, the thinking of Chinese people tends to be that we look at the risks, and therefore, when we are faced with such encouragement, the best thing we can do is try our best to satisfy the expectations of the players, and to communicate with the players in a very honest way. That's amazing! Like, holy crap! What a great response! We care about the players, we care about the gamers, we care about making the game as good as possible for them. You know, what a game company should be doing and focused on? <laughs> Wild thought coming from the West, I'm sure, these days. And Tom couldn't help himself. I am, unfortunately, met with very little honest communication when I bring up a report from IGN. Very little honest communication bringing up a report from IGN that was purposefully, in my humble opinion, mistranslated to shove an agenda down the throats of people so that game science would look as bad as possible because they were in cahoots with trying to get Sweet Baby Inc. to sign on with them. Since Sweet Baby Inc. refused, they went on the offense to attack game science, which related alleged sexist comments from multiple developers at game science, as well as those in leadership roles. I present Ted with the opportunity to address the claims of misogynistic posts and whether he feels that they represent game science's values. Instead, I am shut down with a hasty no comment. Holy crap, dude. They are showing you their game. You are enjoying their game. And you have the audacity to not research the article that you have looked into and in accusing them of. And instead of realizing, oh, that's mistranslations and misunderstandings, you are now throwing that in the face of this Chinese developer saying, hey, you guys look like you're pretty bad with this all sexual allegation stuff and IGN proved it in their article. What do you have to say about that? Like, I'd be like, get the F out of here, bro. I don't want anything to do with you. This has been handled. And because it makes the journalists look awful when the truth comes out there, instead of realizing the reality, they push the false lies. The already debunked story from IGN keeps getting sourced as the truth from other activists. I am then told Game Science's US PR agency will follow up later with a prepared statement, only to be sent the following. Game Science is focused on the demo at this time and will only answer questions related to the gameplay. Here's why. Because no matter what they say, you have been proven to be in cahoots with this nose ring mafia. Oh, by the way, Tom has the nose ring. Shocker, I know. But you guys are in cahoots with each other to twist the words of whatever they say into the worst possible way it could be said. To make it come across to the end user as, oh my god. These people are awful. Game science knows this. They've seen how you've done it before, and they're not going to fall for it again. So instead of trying to explain themselves and say, hey, you mistranslated that. This is what we actually meant. They are saying no comment because they are worried that you're going to twist what they say into something else even worse. And honestly, if I was in their position, I'd be doing the same damn thing. I don't blame them one bit. Due to pushing this ongoing debunked false narrative, I put Tom on the Kotaku detected list on SmashJT.com, which tracks these quote-unquote journalists who persistently push misleading or biased narratives within the video game industry. It's a way to track these people and connect them together, because once you find out that they're all connected behind the scenes, when you show the light on them, they all scatter like cockroaches. There is a much broader issue when it comes to accountability and ethical journalism in games media where sensationalism often overshadows substantial and fair reporting. And this Black Myth Wukong game science story is literally exhibit A for that. I hate to be in the position of defending a game company, but when you are attacking them straight up without any kind of basis whatsoever except for mistranslated posts because you guys are in bed with Sweet Baby Inc., I have no choice but to defend this game company. And yeah, 
It's a Chinese company. They're not going to have American values. And they're going to do whatever the hell they want to do under the laws of the states and the country that they're in. And these journalists need to stop trying to indoctrinate Western culture onto these games and these studios on how they should be acting based off of how they were brought up in their own lives. Because that's not how any of this works. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you guys want more information, check out SmashJT.com for the full article. Again, huge shout out to Grums for bringing this issue to light. If you guys appreciate what I'm doing, please consider hitting that join button. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash